getting in with these big hit boxes like Forder, Dash Tag, that kind of stuff is kind of risky because they are so big, they trigger the explosion fairly easily. And then because you are also big boy, uh, you get comboed off of them as well. So he's going to go to Bowser for game number one. We're going to go to Pokemon Stadium. Yeah, I think this is smart because, um, you know, if you're going to play DK versus Snake, a lot of those grab combos are going to get interrupted by the grenades. Mm -hmm. Maybe not so much for Bowser. And of course, I think Bowser is his main. And he's already showing us that Bowser is a fine pick for him. Taking the lead here at the start <laughs> oh. of, uh, of game one versus BJ. Tries to get an up for in there, but a grenade ruining it at the last possible second. Now, BJ, 88% on Bowser's counter. It is fine. Ooh, goes for the up smash right in the catch is landing. And that's kind of a thing that Bowser has trouble with. That's usually landing and just <laughs> staying on the stage, apparently. Uh, but landing can be quite difficult. Uh, that downer is a good option. I think it does go through the up smash, but it's still kind of a risky option, especially with an up tilt uh, in your mind. So he has to really be particular in his options to getting back to the stage. Yeah, that he does, that he does. And we saw it right there Ooh. with the first stock. You know, it was taken by a C4 and he landed right on it. <laughs> and now he can't even retreat because there's a C4 beneath the second platform making it so dangerous to retreat and go there. Flying Slam definitely needed the platform if it had any hope of killing, but I think he is going to need another move regardless. Missing the platform once again, which means uh, BJ just doesn't have to fear the top at all and just gets to DI out. Snake up tilt hitting in the back. Oh, that raw, the Nikita actually coming, or into, coming into the dash attack. And now BJ's corner has been set up. These grenade and these, the C4, he has one in his hand. Okay. Sure, that's a kind of a win interaction, and the C4 again sealing the stock for Zemmel here. Yeah, the C4 is doing a number on Zemmel. It's taken both stocks this game, and he has yet to take one of BJ. Yeah, there it is, there it is, waiting for the roll in, reacting with the four tilt. Man, it's got to feel good to react to things again. <laughs> <laughs> but it did, for the most part, even though you, you can react to things. Uh, BJ has been having such a easy time keeping Bowser in check because that's usually the diff most difficult thing about this matchup, or just Bowser in general. He has a lot of good options. Uh, he has four to approach. He has a good dash deck. He has an amazingly fast running speed for his size. Uh, so he gets in quite easily, and keeping him at bay is difficult. Uh, BJ says, "I do not care. Uh, I just have grenades. I have C4, and Zemmel is gonna keep getting hit by them, and that should be." easier way, there should be an easier way to, to properly get in without having to deal with that support. There should be, but often there really isn't oh with a character that has such limited approach options, especially against a character like Stank that's so good at easing you out. And uh, BJ, man, he is looking just as comfortable as he was in the set versus Lapis, man. He hasn't had to worry a single game yet this tournament. Mm -hmm. No, has to watch out for the grab though, 160% is basically there. Which means that down for up tilt is going to be the thing. And Bowser with a good shield once that up he had a shield, but that is going to be a bit of a less attractive option there with his kill confirmed in his near side. Right, and Zamel just walking back and forth, trying to get a little cheeky with the, <laughs> the grenade, stealing it. But I think I think that Nikita, yeah, that's yeah. it, that's it. No way you're missing such a big target. Oh, he actually oh, is. He juked him, <laughs> 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 and he still he still died first. Yeah, that's Bowser. Yeah. That's Bowser's side. Yeah, I think, I think you have a lot of control. Like you, you think that was Zemmel just ending it just to, you know, go to game two and be done? Or do you think BJ just had enough control to steer him off? There is a thing where uh, if you are at low percent, and I think I am correct in this, if you are at low percent as an opponent and you get grabbed by Bowser, you have a lot more control over where it goes. Well, then he had a lot more control because it was like 19 versus 170. Yeah. So <laughs> that might just have been on purpose by BJ. Even if you wouldn't have recovered from that, you're still up a stock. You do yeah. not need to care at that point. You do not care. And I think the Zemmel Fink train has been activated. The instant switch to Bowser, over the instant Bowser select is not there. <laughs> yeah. But the delayed Bowser the del select. The delayed Bowser select and a different skin. So maybe this is a different mindset for it. Our big Koopa. Uh, gonna go to Town and City for this next match. Lila's probably been banned uh, with Zemmel's particular skills on that stage. 
Uh, we're gonna see how this bigger stage is gonna work out. I think not too differently. You still got the platforms, of course, um, the low platform where a C4 bubble could, you know, really control where you can and can go is in the middle this time rather than at the two halves of the stage. Uh, but honestly, I think it's largely gonna play out the same. It's still super wide. There are platforms. BJ is gonna be jumping around. He's gonna be putting down his grenade C4, and Bowser is just gonna have one hell of a time trying to get past it. Yeah, that's the most difficult time. Ooh, catches the air dodge with a second up smash right there. Good four there, there, to catch him out of there. But still, the amount of damage Zemmel has done and the amount of damage uh, uh, BG has done to him is such a big difference. Now, Bowser does kill at a lot lower percentage than Snake most of the time, I presume. A good backer at 70 from yeah, the that, Cypher could be the end of it. every time he gets in, it's just one or two stray hits. He's not getting these crazy Ooh. advantage stages that he got versus Pain. He's nope. not getting these point-blank flame breaths. Man, BJ is just looking so, so comfortable. He is not worried at all. No, he does not particularly care. He's just walking back and forth. Yeah, but the down tilt just completely stuffs that Bowser approach. Okay, that down does go through it. Still having a grenade down there kind of interrupts that. Order catching BJ's jump right there and has to recover high. <sighs> Tries to go for the up smash, but sadly not connecting. And yeah. with this platform layout, the side B could be potentially lethal. It's kind of too bad because if that would have been uh, a neutral air dodge, that would have been the correct read. So he was so close to getting that read, but just just the one direction. Tries to go for the, off the platform, but gets a dash tag on that one instead. Backer stuffing the four there from Zemo, who would have definitely wanted that there. Jab at the ledge. The Kita, it's gonna be late. And there it is, there it is. He evens it up with an up tilt, catching the jump. Great stuff there by Zemo, but look at the percentage difference. Yeah, that's an up tilt uh, away from uh, PJ, I think. <laughs> that up tilt is such a strong option, even against a character like Bowser. <sighs> Flame draft on the C4. Oh, <laughs> 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 little. Panic there for me. And likes to live dangerously, I suppose. But again, BJ just won. One little disadvantage state. Gets about 20 to 30%. And BJ resets. Yeah, just there, there isn't this big snowballing no. effect it, there, that you want to see happen with heavies. Yeah. The thing is, there isn't any snow right now. <laughs> <laughs> it's just a big, empty, vast of space. And that forward tilt is going to get punished by the up tilt. As you said, there is. There, you might want to snowball as a heavy, but if there's no snow on the stage, then what are you going to do? Oh, let's go high. Put the grenade interrupting it as well. And BJ trying to keep that Bowser in bay has been doing such an amazing job of that. This time he does not get steered off stage. It's only full control of that drift. And he has been doing a good job getting past those BJ defenses a little bit more. Even even the return to send the grenade is just going to be protected by one of Snake's other projectors. You know, he didn't even know when it's coming, but it didn't matter because there's so much out there, yeah. it's going to get stopped regardless. Ooh, good shield there, waiting there for that neutral air to, to, to run out. But has to land back to stage, gets with those reverse in. He's going to try and look for something at least to get rid of that Bowser, but the forward air catching BJ there is going to send him to his last yeah, stock. Yeah, compared to the previous stock, he did, you know, uh, catch up to him, you know, reduce BJ's lead by about 30%, but uh, it isn't enough. If you uh, just continue with that line into the last stock, you won't come out on top, so it has to make some kind of big play here yeah. to get an early stock off of BJ. Especially, like, BJ wants a Zemmel jump, especially with the angles he's been taking with the Nikita to cover the lower grounder. He wants Zemmel to jump in with a forward air or something to stuff him out with an up tilt or at least do something about that. And Zemmel kind of running out of options here, not knowing how to get in yep. that man's face and punch him. Right, right. Even if you jump over the grenade and Nikita, yeah. you'll land on the C4 uh -oh. unless you retreat again. And that's going to be it. No, no. Okay. no. I don't know where the Nikita was going. He had a free shot at Bowser way down there. Kinda but sloppy. he didn't take it. He does not care. You see? He does not care. Yeah. This is the matchup, ladies and gentlemen. This is the matchup. Okay. Movement has been going on. I'm trying to bait the C4. <laughs> I think someone is going to get kicked for inactivity soon. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yes. Instantly up tilt. That is an, a sure way to get rid of that Koopa. And BJ, 
I saw a small pop off there from BJ. Yes, I did nothing for 10 seconds and then I hit him with an upto. <laughs> I mean, I mean that, that that's the snake, the snake, that's the snake mindset, you know. To, to be fair, BJ popped off of an, uh, at an, uh, an automatic C4 detonation. Uh, so, so I have seen worse. I have seen worse. Now. Is he gonna go with the Bowser again or gonna see the DK or maybe they get the Falcon even? No, 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 it's gonna Bowser. To be fair, he did get a little closer this time. Yeah. Maybe he's gonna get even closer in game three, but oh man. Um, if there's one thing we can say for sure, it, that these kind of matchups are still, at the end of the day, just very rough for the heavyweights. Yeah, and particularly if you're gonna go back to Tana City. That one interaction where they basically did nothing, but BJ still won because he had the C4 at the stage. That is such a difficult barrier to go for as Bowser. And you instantly see that BJ, I don't know what you are doing, but you are done with this game, it seems. <laughs> <laughs> There's no fear in him. No. He is so confident that he's gonna win this and he is doing like weird edge guards like that. To be fair, I like it. And those uh -oh. aerials are long lasting, they're strong. You know, Snake isn't that bad an edge guarder. It's just that his ledge trapping is even more ridiculous. Yeah, and I actually love uh, uh, Zemmel getting a lifesaver right there. Wanted to go for the Nikita, but his own grenade blew up in his face and that prevented him from getting it out of there. Now, Zemmel in a decent position, not if he does that though. Nikita. Oh, uh, that should there be. There it is, there it is. Finally, he goes low. Every single time Bowser has gone low. These high Nikitas hadn't been demanding oh. for him. Okay. And he finally gets the edge card. Bit of a cooperational <laughs> uh, combo there. Uh, yeah. Interesting. You know, you have to think of something. That's the grenade in hand. Ooh, does not get the up air. That would have definitely been it. And that four tilt is going to send him to the edge of the stage. Still no kill for Zimmel here. Has to find something. Gets the oh. read. And that final kick, such a big hitbox. But speaking of big hitboxes, that back air is enormous and fast. It's going to send him out of there. Oh, and, and he got in. That's a big combo. Doing 47% off of a couple of aerials. He can die <laughs> at this point. <laughs> that's like the biggest fear you have. You're at Bowser. You're against Bowser at the ledge at like 50. You can die at this point. You are not safe, my man. Oh, speaking of forward smashes. Yeah, I suppose that was supposed to be a dash attack. He'd be using uh, quite a bit of dash attacks. That wasn't. No, that definitely <laughs> wasn't, <though. laughs> Oh, tries to get another grenade confirm in. This game has been going a lot faster for both players, actually. And that backer is going to send him off the side. Zemmel now for the first time having a lead in this set against BJ. Tana City really showing off what it can do if it gets into the right position. Yeah, that was a huge find by... Uh-oh. Uh by Zemmel, just like that flame breath. Yeah, well, I was going to say, speaking of big finds, now Zemmel keeping Snake at the ledge. Fortilt not gonna send him that much further. Gets back to the stage. Up smashes, get him out of there. And then that flame breath is just gonna slowly but surely get that percentage kind of up. 65% and a lot of rage on Zemmel. I, <laughs> I'm afraid of back air at this point. <laughs> but he first has to find a way in. Yeah, I think he is in a luxury position. It's not often you get to have a lead like Bowser in a matchup like this. So, you know, if you do, Finally, get a lead in a matchup oh. like this. Why not take it a little easy yourself? I like that jab for tilt, by the way. That's an interesting version of the confirm there. Now Zemmel has to play patiently. No, that's not patient, Zemmel. There's a C4 on there, and instantly he is losing this lead right there. Gets back, luckily, due to a kind of sloppy edge guard there from BJ. And the C4 that the nation got interrupted. This is an opportunity for Zemmel. Oh no, what are you doing? Okay, he's fine, he's fine. He knows he's exactly how high that Whirling Fortress goes. He is fine. He is crazy, he's also fine. <laughs> I want to see him take it easy now. You don't need to get hit by any straight grenades or Nikitas. I mean, he is ahead. He does not have to do anything at this point. Right. <laughs> that, it's, a, it's a rare position to be in. Make the most of it. That's like a thing a lot of people forget. Like, you do not need to approach at this point. You, you don't. You just got to wait it out. Oh, okay. Maybe read on the jump. No, the up tilt's gonna be late. And there it is, a jump read by Zemmel, and he takes the first game off of BGA today. That was such a whack, whack backer. Like he did not even like instant double jump, but no, he instant footstool back there, <laughs> back at him. He jumped on his head and put the backer out of there. Now, sure, those legs are gonna get swiped by the claw, and as you said, first game for Zemmel in the set. Now. It is difficult because you have to survive two more counterpicks from BJ. He has 
basically all the stages he wants. Yeah, and Zemmel has been taking him to all the wide stages, yeah. which is usually what we expect out of projector characters rather than the heavyweight. So do you think BJ is going to take him to a small stage? No, nope. it's PS2. All. I mean, if he won twice on PS2, or uh, at least won once fairly convincingly on PS2, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. why not? Yeah, why not? Indeed. And, you know, PS2 is so good for Snake. You have these platforms that basically close off an entire section of the stage. Mm -hmm. Uh, for their opponent if he puts the C4 there. Yeah, I think that, that Bowser can really uh, uh, abuse here is those great from platform areas like Ford or like Nair and that kind of stuff to particularly stuff out BJ on the ground there, but then BJ has to be in the middle of the stage, which as you can already see, he does not want to. He likes that ledge, he likes the corner and that platform, those are his favorite. And now the great challenge of approaching Snake as Bowser begins yet again. Oh yeah. <laughs> Fortunately for him, he doesn't have to wait for BJ this time. He is coming right to him with the four tails and the back airs. Let's get two back airs in, but both are going into the wrong direction. Good back air there from BJ. And that's kind of the difficult part of finding those reverse flame breaths. We saw a couple of them in the last game. That back air can just stuff them out so hard because Snake took completely twist his body in order to get into that hitbox. And that is a big chunk of damage you are missing here. Speaking of big chunk of damage, oh, gets it right here. That is 20% on the clock. Oh, tries to read the back with the forward smash. But that is not going to succeed if that would, he would have died. <laughs> right, right. And it didn't even get him punished that hard because the grenade there prevented any kind of long wind charges of punish. He goes for another up smash, tries to get a jab to confirm into that move, but no, Zemmel not falling for that trick. Waiting patiently right there. And it, it seems to me like calling Zemmel patient is usually not the correct term. But he is. He is eager to get in, but he's smart enough to uh, you know stay back when he comes. Uh, but like I said, those C4s on platforms, they just close all parts of the stage. You cannot be there, especially in kill percent. So the first is gonna go to BJ. Instantly tries to get big damage with his down air, which can do like 25 in one go. I think that Bowser really uh, has against him is that uh, he is so large, those C4 blasts easily connect with him if they're on a platform. Usually they have to be in a kind of specific positions in order to properly connect. But right now, he, is, he does not. He is so big that he does yeah, not. Yeah, if he's anywhere near the platform, he's just yeah. gonna get hit there. He is gonna get blown up. And Snake, kind of slender, does not have to do that. Now BJ gonna recover high, no edge guarding, or at least no hit. Yeah, and, high and there's BJ with his signature crouch. You, it's really hard to hit it on landing, so <laughs> that got him a nice big back air. But Zemmel, he is staying in this with an up tilt and the shock at like 140. He is about 88% behind. It's tough, but not impossible. Again, that's C4. He was nearly uh, dead from the upper blast on there, and he was not even near the C4 at that point. Oh, BJ, oh, oh, dodges it, and now BJ has to find the killing yeah, blow. Zemo and the ledge again, that leg did not even look close to Bowser, but it hit him nonetheless for full power. Zemo almost a full stock behind, but he's had a massive juggle going on BJ. That man got kicked in his breath and died. <laughs> yeah, and he's hitting a lot of shield uh, on the platform. I think he might... Uh, benefits from trying a couple of aerial command grabs whenever BJ is on the platform because he is shielding a lot. Tries to get the get up attack tank through the up smash, gets the downer to fang tank through it. But that downer from BJ as well is gonna make sure that it's not gonna be a proper option to get back to his that backer does not have a double jump and has then to Nikita, up yeah that's over there's no way he can get past that and that's a 3-1 victory for BJ but Zemel did show that he bleeds.